Hello sports fans, Clump here with TTM video number 73. Got five returns to go through, all successes. We'll start it off with a one of one in 33 days from former Major League outfielder Marvin Bernard. Mr. Bernard signed the Fleer Triple Crown. What year is it? 2001. 2001 Fleer Triple Crown. Very nicely in black. Looks amazing. Uh, Marvin Bernard played in the majors from 95 to 2003. All for the San Francisco Giants and is on their wall of fame. He had a lifetime batting average of 271 with 54 home runs and 260 RBIs. After retiring, he coached in the minors, managed the Nicaraguan national team, and now does Spanish color commentary for those San Francisco Giants. Very nice. Me gusta. Next is a three of four from former Major League pitcher Paul Ossenmacher. Mr. Ossenmacher did not sign my 89 Fleer. From what I see, he signs three. If I'd have studied more, I would have only sent three. So, 89 Fleer did not get signed, but the 1990 Fleer did. Thin blue Sharpie looking sharp on that Cubs card. Tony Black got to love that one. Also signed the 89 tops. Looks amazing. And signed the 87 Fleer. Very cool. Very cool. Paul Ossenmacher pitched in the major leagues from 86 to 99 for the Braves, the Cubs, the Yankees, the White Sox, and the Indians. He had a career win-loss record of 61 wins and 44 losses, a lifetime ERA of 3.51, and 807 strikeouts. So not bad at all. And next is a 4-4 four and four in 32 days from former Major League shortstop Dick Schofield. There is some confusion. You see him called Dick Schofield Jr., and he is not Dick Schofield Jr., his name is nothing like his dad's name. His dad's name is like John something, and they called him Ducky. And his name is Richard Schofield. I mean, their names ain't the same, so he is not Dick Schofield Jr. But he signed this 88 old peachy. <laughs> he signed the 89 Fleer. The 1990 Don Russ. Shout out to Brandon Stebbins. Sure you got that one. But if by some miracle you don't, hit me up, brother. We'll, we'll work something out. But I'm sure you got that one. And the 87 Fleer. All very nicely. In a medium blue Sharpie, it looks like. <laughs> Dick Schofield played in the majors from 83 to 96 for those Angels. The Mets the Blue Jays, the Dodgers, and the Angels again. And since retiring, he's been coaching in the minors, and I believe he still is. He was recently coaching for the Dayton Dragons in 2016, so wouldn't surprise me if he still was. Very cool. Next is a 4-4 four of four in eight days from former Major League pitcher Joe Sambito. Mr. Sambito signed the 87 Fleer. Oh, the 87 tops. The 88 Fleer that looks awesome. Shout out to Isaac. Know you liking that, buddy. And the 79 tops. Very nice. Joe Sambito pitched in the major leagues from 76 to 87 
for those Astros, the Mets, the Red Sox. And he was lucky enough to be traded from the Mets to the Red Sox for 1986. So he was lucky enough to face those Mets in the 1986 World Series. And it didn't work out so well. He actually played great. He had a great World Series. He had a great year. But as we all know, Bill Buckner. <laughs> he was also an All-Star in 1979. So that's pretty cool. After his playing days, he became a player's counselor. And he worked with players like Andy Pettit and Ryan Klesko. So, very, very cool. And this last one, it's a biggie. This last one. It's a one of one in 13 days from one of the greatest players ever to play in the NBA. And maybe the greatest coach to ever coach in the NBA. The great Lenny Wilkins. Card for the Lenny Wilkins Foundation there. Supporting health care and educating for all children regardless of their financial means. Such a guy. Great, great guy. And he signs that 1990 Skybox for the set. And I mean, look at the placement of that signature. Just uh, everything he does, he's great. Even that, I mean, look at the signature. Everything he does, he's just great. All right, what can you say about Lenny Wilkins? One of the, one of the greatest players and coaches in history. He's in the Nysmith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame three times. He's in there as a player, as a coach, and as a member of the Dream Team. He's in, of course, the U.S. Olympic Hall of Fame. He's in the College Basketball Hall of Fame. He's in the Providence College Hall of Fame. And I'm sure more that I don't know about. He won an NBA championship as a coach with the Sonics in 79. He won, two, of course, two Olympic gold medals in 92 and 96, coaching those, the Dream Team. And then the 96 team was just as amazing. He was a 13-time All-Star, nine times as a player, and the All-Star Game MVP once in those nine times, four times as the head coach. He was the 1994 Coach of the Year, probably should have been the Coach of the Year numerous years other than that. Had his number retired by the Sonics as a player and is a member of the NBA 50th Anniversary All-Time Team as a player. So, I mean, Lenny Wilkins, just basketball greatness incarnate. So glad to have his autograph. That's just one of the greatest. Thank you so much, Mr. Lenny Wilkins. Thank you, Joe Sambito. Thank you, Dick Schofield. Thank you, Paul Ausenmacher. Thank you, Marvin Bernard. Thank you guys for watching. Best of luck on your return. See you again soon.